Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it's time for Doro Hedoro, because I did not have any electricity for a while there. Hooray. So, uh, on the last episode of Doro Hedoro, uh, we, well, we kind of just got stuck into it, didn't we? We just kind of got thrown in, it's like, hey, here's the world! <laughs> have fun! Uh, so we've got wizards that run around and cast, like, transformation spells on people, and... You know what, I know some people that that's not really a problem for them. That's just, you know, that's just kind of something that, uh... Oh boy! Oh boy, I'm not gonna finish their sentence! <laughs> oh boy. Um, we have, uh, and we have our, our protagonists, Gator Man and the girl whose name I don't remember, who are going around looking for, or going around killing wizards, and looking for the wizard that turned Gator Man into Gator Man, because he has a man inside his Gator Head that is potentially also him. Also, he ripped a girl's face off, so... Kind of, we kind of just started that first episode off just kind of zooming along, didn't we? Just... Alright. Uh, so yeah, I've been, I've been honestly, I've been honestly getting really excited to come back to this one, and just like, I, it burns my ass, I couldn't, I was just so sick last week that I couldn't get back to it, but... But we here, we here, we 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 gonna get in here. So let's see what happens to the poor fucking girl who lost her face. In three, two, one, and go. Like I'm hoping she just doesn't like disappear and just be like, oh yeah, no, I'm gone. Oh yeah, this ended with this. All these people with the fucking crosses fucking dying. Like I'm hoping we get back in here on on her like relatively quickly because I want to know. Like she's completely missing her fucking face. Like, holy shit. God. I still really do not like the way this show looks. Like, I, I am sorry. Like, at least it's consistent. At least it's consistent, you know? Like, you know, it's like, it's everything is CG, not just, like, drawn people on CG backgrounds or verse, vice versa. They got stuff like this that looks really nice, but otherwise, you know, it's... Like, it's, it's like, kind of like how Beastars did it, except Beastars looks nicer. I don't, I, I can't quite put my finger on why Beastars looks nicer, though. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I mean, honestly... Honestly, I think if I if you put a gun to my head and you told me to choose, like either like uh, CG backgrounds with like hand drawn characters or hand drawn backgrounds with CG characters, I think I'd pick CG characters with hand drawn backgrounds. Honestly, because because like most of your focus is going to be on the characters themselves. You know what I mean? So it's like. Like if if like if 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 it's gonna be if you're gonna make one thing consistent, like make the characters consistent. But and like if you're if you're focusing on the characters and you just can't stop thinking about how like the stuff around them looks fucking weird, that's just gonna take you completely out of it, you know. But if you're focusing on the characters and the characters look weird in CG, you're still just focusing on the characters. You know what I mean? So, like, you're not like, oh, hey, this is pretty neat, but why does this background look so fucking awful? Instead, it's like, oh, this is pretty neat. Oh, hey, the character's got a really weird fucking rig there. Ah, uh, I don't like, I don't like that IK rig there, don't, mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know. I don't know, like, I'm just really, I just really don't like CG in anime at all, honestly. Beastars, like, was like, oh, I'll, like, I'll deal with it, but I would still... Would rather have had it be hand drawn. Aww. Aww, she, she made him a lunch. What a precious babu. Did you turn into a bug again? Her eyes are so tiny. Well, that just sounds fucking awful. Like, I'm not a...
Well, that's... Well, that's just kind of fucking rough. Holy shit. Uh I mean, hey, I wish I wish I wish I could get a pay raise by beating my boss at Hanafuda. Holy shit. Okay, why the fuck do they have torsos and spines in a fucking in fucking bags just hanging? It's like it's like they've got them out for fucking lunch. What the hell? Right in front of my salad, come on! Okay, but what was going on in the trash, though? No, I, I don't care about this. What's going on in the trash? What's going on in the fucking trash, dog? But you did, so I mean, you know, your intent's kind of irrelevant there, my dude. I mean, my dude, you've got your mask on backwards, like, should you really be calling them morons? Like, I, I, I don't know about that one, man. You should put your mask on the, same, the, the right way. So what do the eye crosses mean? Does the eye, uh, do the eye crosses denote something, or...? Because Gatorman's got them, and so does the guy inside his face. Oh man, it's a sorcerer. It's a sorcerer with a fucking moral code. Oh fuck. He's just, he's just wearing his mask backwards. Is he wearing a diaper or fucking tidy whities I couldn't quite see with my glasses off. So what does Doro Hidoro mean? Okay, what the fuck? What the fuck is it? No, come on. No, what does he look like? What does he look- you can't just do shit like- oh, come on! You can't just do shit like that. I don't know what they look like. Some bullshit, my dude. Like, was he just a head in a jar? Like, he sounded like he was speaking through a filter. What the hell? Probably because he was a victim, my dude. Fucking sorcerer, not that man got fucked by sorcerers. I 
She's never going to want the lizard dick, my boy. She's never gonna want that lizard dick. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> Even if you tell her you got hemipeen, she's gonna be like, nah, chief. Oh, that's awful. That joke is awful. I hate it. So, so is she gonna is she gonna be healing the fucking the missing the girl with the missing face? Oh. So it was just a severed head. Okay, neat. Why it sounded like he was talking through a filter, I have no idea. So that so that's how they punish sorcerers. Behead them and just keep them alive. Alright then. Fucking alright then. So, Jesus Christ, it's just what Diavolo did to that one member of La Squadra. Except they're alive. <laughs> My fucking god. Fucking magic Diavolo. Which is saying something, because Diavolo's already kind of magic. Like, is she... Is she okay? Like... Like, her face is missing, my dude. Like, what's... I think she needs more than just a new face, my boy. I think she needs a new mask. She needs a new face. You gotta wear the Yushanka with it? Like... God, I, I, I think that I think he didn't just take her face off. I think he took her fucking brain out too. Holy shit, she is, she is not doing well. She bought an outfit that was just all zippers, are you fucking kidding me? So why does he wear it backwards? Like why? Like what like what what happened to why why does he wear it backwards? Like why is that his gimmick? Her titty just hanging out. Like, her titty just, just... Yeah, it's just in fashion to just have your titty hanging out. Like, come on, it's fashionable. I need an adult. <laughs> God damn, she look good. She got, she got, mmm. She caught that Ara Ara energy, you know what I'm saying. How did he drink that? How did she drink that through the mask? Like, 
Like, is she okay? Like, she hasn't stopped doing this the whole time, and she's still just got her titty hanging out. Like, she, is she alright? Like... This man just really likes his mushrooms, huh? So send the guy that doesn't use magic, then. Fucking man just really likes his mushrooms, huh? They're they're not even really paying attention to him, are they? Just they're just gonna like nah nah give me the steak though. I thought transformation magic was just a thing that people were just doing the whole time. Like they Is... <laughs> are, are her titties that big? I don't think they are. <laughs> they really embellish in there for the straps, huh? Yeah, but, it's, no, but she got four points, though. <laughs> Fucking Christ, they dead. <laughs> My man's just really likes mushrooms. What the fuck? Okay, then. Just out of nowhere, just my man's like... <laughs> so like, what if the guy who fucking cast the spell on him just dies of natural causes, like, on the other side? Does he just wake up one morning, just turn back to normal? Ugh. God, this fucking drooly ass bartender. That shit's gross. Fuck. Man, whole. Whole really. Hmm. Father Time really took a bet to this place. Nice to see the skateboards are still a valid method of traveling. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad for a post-apocalypse, I mean... The fuck do you want her clothes for, my dude? It's not like they'll fit you, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, master. I must go all out just this once. She chops her weighted training bra. <laughs> you know what? I might not have been kidding. Holy shit. Check that man's eye out! What the fuck?
And she scalped him! The amount of force required to remove a human eyeball through fucking brute force alone is ridiculous. Let alone just the precision needed to perfectly scalp someone with a spear. What the fuck? What is her problem? Like, did she get cursed with some bullshit as well? Or fucking Christ. Ah, uh, yes. A big fuck-off rave, exactly as Buddha would have wanted. Oh, man's just want to be here, come on. Jam bean. Jam bean. <laughs> They're getting more elaborate with those mouth scenes. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, like, let the man have a go. Come on now. I mean, like, he's trying, at the very least. He's trying to be a good boy. Ah, good old-fashioned cardiac arrest. So there's not just, so not all sorcerers are evil. There's, there's some that are actually just halfway decent and offer a service. Oh, he's fucking blind. He's a lizard, of course he can. Like... So yeah, I guess, I guess face magic doesn't work on him either. Alright then. So, are you gonna not fix the girl's face? You're not gonna fix Ibisu's face at all? No, you're just gonna keep wandering around being a fucking idiot? Alright then, fair enough. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I can. I can. I can deal. I can. I can. I can handle that. Oh boy. All right. So, hmm. One thing I got to give this show is, it, at the very least, it's very much got a way of of keeping you. Interested, you know, because what 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 happened? Like what 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 problem was was solved this episode? You know, it was none. Not saying that's inherently a bad thing, by the way. Um, like we we learned, like it's it's more it's more set up more than anything. You know, like we've got like our our main sort of antagonist force, like burning them. We've got like the big boss, the like, big mushroom man. You've got Ibisu and fucking Long Nose Man. Like, it's just kind of, like, flunkies. And then you have, like, these big dragony boys. And I'm using dragon as in, like, archetype kind of thing. Not, like, literal dragons. Oh, wait, do we have anything at the end? Oh, jeez. I... 
yeah, I, here's what we learned. A bunch of shit that means nothing. Um, like, yeah, we, like, basically, like, these, these, these dragon archetype characters, like, these boys that, they aren't the big boss, but they'll, they'll serve as, like, a main antagonist sort of role until our heroes reach the point where they can fight the big boss. Like, that's... That's that's that that's what we got. We got the flunkies, we got the dragon, and we got big and we got the big boss. And and we and we got like a general idea about all of them. Like, you know, like Noi can apparently heal things. Fucking the heart man can God, my fucking hair keeps getting caught in this fucking little gap here. God damn it. Uh he can slice people up like fucking Diavolo, but the difference being is that they're alive when he does that. Um you know, fucking Ibisu, apparently, when she lost her face, she lost her fucking mind as well. Uh, you know, it, it, I don't know, like, it, it's, it's just, I don't know, like, it, it, like, like our, our heroes aren't even really aware of the bad guys yet, they're just kind of bumble-fucking along. They had this original, like, idea they had, and it's just like, like, hey, let's go, like, look for sorcerers and all that, and let's find the guy who did my face, and all this, and this, and this. But, yeah. Let's let's go, let's go bumble fuck around, you know, like just wherever we find a sorcerer, let's go, let's do the thing, um, and then and meanwhile the fucking our our vi villains, our villains already know all about the heroes, they know what they look like, they know where they live, and they know that they need to go f get fucking murdered, and they even kind of knew that the guy was, they I think they even kind of know who they're going after next, so it's honestly. Honestly, like it's 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 pretty neat. It's 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 a nice little slow build up to, uh, to like like the first initial meeting of our of our villains and our heroes, and it's done in such a way in that even though technically nothing has happened yet, it still feels like something happened. You know, it feels like palpable progress was made. While nothing got solved, progress towards solving it was made, and and that's like a really fun balance to maintain you know like if, if you if you don't want your heroes and villains to have first contact yet you want to spend time building them up you can't just have them dick around for two episodes because then nothing gets done and it feels like a waste of the audience's time and for an a for anime that that is a that is a really bad thing to do in the first two episodes so yeah that's that's good you know we've got like tangential meetings like fucking like uh, kaiman finding the guy's head in the bag Fucking shit like that. Yeah, we're, we're we're getting like more like knowledge of like what the hole is like, out and about like what what you know what's going on. Got little pockets of sorcerers that don't really live in the sorcerer land. Some of them are just fucking assholes like the old guy, and then some just they just like nah, no, I'm just gonna hang around with the dum dums like fucking needle, and you just yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do your face, I'll I'll tell your fortune, you know, like have a good time, you know, live and let live. I don't know, it's just it's just kind of it's just kind of neat. Um, what I really want to know is just, like, the girl, fucking, like, what the fuck is her deal? The fuck is her deal? Just, whew, whew. just took, just took a fucking, kicked that guy's eyeball out of his head and then fucking scalped his friend. Like, like, shit, straight fuck, my dude. Jesus. Like, I don't know, like, I, like I still am not like a gigantic fan of the 3D of a lot of the 3D models. Like a lot of them look kind of gross. Like, Kaiman's Kaiman's looks fine, you know. Like fucking Nikaido's is okay. I'm not a giant fan of it. Um, Ibisu looks fine, but it's mostly because she doesn't have a face, and a lot of the uncanny valley comes from the face. Um, the long nosed guy whose name I've already forgotten, he looks kind of, he, he doesn't really look very good, but, like, Noi and, um, I've already forgotten his name, Noi and Heartman, backwards Heartman, like, they, they look fucking great, like, it's, there's some definite, I think that definitely that's something I'll, I'll, I'll level against the series, is there's some definite inconsistency on character models, some of them look really fucking gross, and, and not in a good way. And and some of them kind of knock it out the park. Like fucking like Noi is just peak waifu right there, peak, peak. Like just mmm, mmm. Nah, I'm I'm down. I'm down with that one. Give me give me more of her, please. 
Uh, but yeah, I think that's really all I gotta say. Just good episode, fun little world building thing. Nothing really happened as far as the over as as far as like the overarching kind of like general idea. It just felt like more world building, but it's world building that feels like it's building up to something, and it and it feels like progression was made, and and that's that's always fun. That's that's always fun. Um, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say. It's really, yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's a good good episode, fun good time. So let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out, because that's entirely possible, or something that just whoosh, whooshed right the fuck over my head. Um, yeah, as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked in the description and on the end card, along with the list of all the people to keep the show up and running. Oh boy. Um, and there's also some other goodies, but that's listed on the Patreon page. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a reunion.